Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Harry Barr from Pacific Northwest Capital. How are you today? Very good, thank you. Chris. And I'm so delighted that you're joining us because we have so many updates that I need to ask you about. I think the most recent news release was that you're announcing a new exploration program with three projects in southeast Manitoba. Is that correct? It's, it's correct. We actually have a fourth one there now. We have four 100% owned projects in Manitoba. We have uh, in lithium. We have one in Nevada. And uh, of course we have the big different division, the uh, Platinum Group Metal Division in Ontario. Okay, but let's find out a little bit more about these properties. We've got lithium, 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 and lithium. Is that correct? Can you give us a little bit more of the highlights here, Harry? Well, it all starts with people. I have a guy called Kerry Gilchuk, and he spent 12 years of his career. He's 52. He's a young geologist in Canada. The average age of a Canadian geologist now is 65 years old, if you can believe that. That's another story. But he spent 12 years of his career with a mine and a company called Tanko, which is only about 70 miles outside of Winnipeg, the capital city of our province, Manitoba. And there he was in the exploration side and he did three things. He looked for tantalum, lithium, cesium, and in, in a rock called pegmatite. And uh, so we have uh, the many years that Kerry spent looking for lithium group metals and we have all of his experience because he heads up our lithium division now. So he's helped our shareholders and myself acquire a lot of very good properties beside one of the oldest mines in this country that most people don't even know about called Tanko. Again, road accessible right out of Winnipeg, Manitoba. And I'm so grateful that you're actually bringing this up. I always call them treasure hunters, especially myself as an investor, you know, who the geologist is who's leading this. And of course, you, you also announced uh, acquiring a lithium brine project in the Clayton Valley, Nevada, which is a heavily sought after region right now. Was he responsible for that as well? No, he helped on the side. He has, um, he's more a hard rock lithium geologist, but he knows, has a lot of knowledge about brine. There I uh, met two very bright, one Canadian, one U.S. geologist who had the property. But based on the experience of almost a year as a CEO of another company and having acquired eight properties with that group in Nevada, um, I knew a lot of the people there. I've worked in Nevada since I was a young man. And so we acquired that property from two well-known geologists. Uh, one's from Nevada, a crusty old 75-year-old guy who can say, he said, most of the young guys use uh, four-wheelers in the field. I still walk, Harry. So that's the kind of guy we have. He spent his whole career in that, and we've got a very good property there, too. Well, I think a very good property may be an understatement. Uh, for those of you new to Pacific Northwest Capital, this property is approximately three and a half uh, hours away from where they're building the Tesla Gigafactory. So can you talk to us a little bit more about the uh, infrastructure, because you're adjoining a number of other uh, very uh, impressive properties. That's true. Well, if my left hand was the Gigafactory in, in Reno, and my right hand uh, is the Faraday Electric car company that are building in, in uh, Las Vegas. This project is dead in the middle. It's a three and a half hour drive each way by tractor trailer, truck infrastructure. And it's there because there's 4% of the world's supply of brine uh, lithium is being produced there on an annual basis since 1967. So what happened in true Canadian form, the Canadian companies went down there, uh, really based on a very bright guy that I've known for 30 years. His name's Clive Ashworth. He heads up Geo Explorex, and he staked around these properties first. Then he brought in a couple of Canadian companies in the lithium boom that went from around 06 to 09. And of course, we all know we've had five bad years after that. And uh, so he brought those people in, and then other people staked around him. The lithium has taken off because of guys like Elon Musk and what he's done around the world to basically promote the, you know, the new green energy and the lithium batteries. And so then the state of Nevada, which is one of the best mining places in the world, said we're going to help these companies and we're going to give them multi-million, hundreds of millions of dollars of tax credits. So they, they call themselves the, the lithium hub now, the state of Nevada. So we've got mine in the middle, two big gigafactories coming on, a gigafactory, I should say, in uh, Reno in the storage and battery and a new car plant called Faraday with a billion and a half dollars going in in uh, Vegas. Of course, in addition to this, you have the Platinum Group of Metals uh, projects. Would you like to talk to us a little bit about that? Because that's the reason I got involved with uh, Pacific Northwest Capital originally, because I'm very bullish on platinum. 
Well, as you know, uh, because we brought the new division in the lithium, we've announced in June we're going to change our name in the, in the next uh, about a month and a half. In the middle of a financing, it's a little hard to change your name. The, na the new name will be New Age Metals, and it has the two divisions, the lithium division and the platinum group metal division. We're a green energy company because most of the platinum and palladium goes into the tailpipe of your car, into the auto catalyst, which is a green energy device. And uh, we have the largest underdeveloped primary palladium platinum property in Canada. There's over 30 million spent on it. The uh, fifth, 43101, that added up to the 30 million, took us from the million ounces that we had in uh, probably four years ago to 2.5 million ounces. And that's just in the top two categories. We have 12 kilometers of mineralized uh, contact that we're following. We're primary palladium, and then platinum is second, and then we have gold and we have other base metals. And you can drive a brand new car to the site. We're 100 kilometers from the biggest metallurgical uh, place in Canada, Sudbury, where if we're here and Sudbury's here, then North American Palladium, the only other producer, ships its concentrates 800 kilometers down to Sudbury. And again, we're only 100 kilometers away. So we're in a mining center that's been around for 125 years where people get mining and you don't have to build a billion dollar facility or multi-billion dollar facility. They're already built there. And you were talking about how many new projects you've acquired just in the last couple of months. Can you tell us what we as shareholders should anticipate in the next couple of quarters? In the next couple of quarters, we're out in the field now. We're doing all our field work. We're going to lead up to drilling for our River Valley project, the uh, Platinum Group Metal Division, and we'll be drilling in the late fall of 2016, but for sure in 2017 in the Lithium Division. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Harry. Thank you.